Hello, Maggie. Hello. Hi. How nice are you? to meet you. Nice okay, to meet you. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> so, Maggie, I want you to please introduce yourself. Okay, yep. Yeah. My name is Maggie Nightingale, and um, I have been making short animations for a very long time, but they have been turning into longer and longer narratives. Um, and the piece that I have submitted to this festival is a script, so mm. it hasn't been realized. Mm. Um, and I'm getting deeper and deeper into um, writing. Mm. And I guess you would call a style sort of magical realism. Um, and uh, it is, uh, yeah, very much sort of based in <laughs> dreams. Funny. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's allergy season, right? <laughs> It is, yeah. I've been sneezing all day. I've actually had a nap yeah. because of it. Yeah. <laughs> now you understand. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm a big dreamer. I think yeah. that's um, uh, my uh, the script uh, that I've submitted called, called Moth. It actually is the first thing that I've written that really reflects the way that I dream, which is um, very uh, architectural and mm. based on place and. Mm. Uh, landscape and okay. moving through this sort of landscape <clears throat> because the other uh, scripts were based on like more uh, like characters plot what's the difference between this this one and the others i think well this one is is a lot more narrative mm. than anything that i've made before so um the the works that i made before the visual works that i've made before i've been writing for a really long time but mm. um the visual works that have been quite uh, abstract and non-narrative and based on kind of gestures and movements and mm. sort of uh, physical discomfort and um, sort of demonstrating that kind of sense without non-verbally I mean this mm. script is actually there's there's no dialogue mm. in it, but um, but increasingly the work that I'm starting to make is does have dialogue and does have sort of more character development sort of mm. in a literal sense in terms of interaction with others yeah Maggie, how hard it is to um, write and then how hard it is to write exactly what we want to see on the screen and then how hard it is to execute exactly what it's written. Because it's like many stages. Of it's really difficult. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think the, the compulsion for me is um, has been to just visualize and realize something visually. Mm. Um, without a narrative although I've been writing narratives mm. for a really long time but um because I like to I like the idea of of the non-verbal intelligence mm. so um but I don't know I mean now I'm challenging myself a little bit more giving myself a bit more time to actually get to grips with the, mm. the real world that I live in that is verbal and mm. <laughs> and where I do I actually want to realize more complex ideas so it's really hard mm. so um, I've never been stuck before in the transition because I, I I make animations they're not mm. professional I would say yeah mm. but um but um I've I've made them and not been worried about mm. the the maybe the a little bit of a mismatch between the in, original intention and the and the yeah. visual realization of it mm. because it's so much fun and the mm. process is so delightful and problem solving and the process is so delightful and mm. and it's still very pleasing visually to me but I think I've, I'm becoming a bit less selfish <laughs> realization <laughs> I think it's I a good to, thing <laughs> yeah it is, it is I want it to I want it to make sense to other people yeah I want to work with other people as well. I want to collaborate and without and, losing your authenticity, right? Yes, yeah. and I feel like maybe now I've got a bit more confidence. I understand where the authenticity is, mm. and uh, and what what's maybe positive and important to me about about the vision that I want mm. to realize. Cool. So. Um, do you put to yourself, you know, in the process of writing, uh, any like obstacles or I wouldn't say like I would I would call it technically like self censorship, but in you know the basic you know meaning of the term. Do you do, do you self censor your, yourself for any reason? I feel like finally I'm more able to be honest about my authentic voice now in writing because um, it can be quite visceral and mm. I guess sexual and kind of 
dangerous and dark and scary and violent, mm. And mm. all uncomfortable uh, ideas and emotions that women struggle with perhaps to express. And I, I worried about family and friends mm. seeing this insight into me. With, but then I realized, well, these these emotions and feelings are universal. And I'm, exactly. I'm not like always feeling these feelings. Mm. I'm not always thinking these thoughts, mm. but but they are part of being a human. And I, and mm. I really want to get them mm. out. Yeah, yeah. This <laughs> is head. interesting. Yeah, this is so interesting. And, right. you know, we as artists, we ta- we dare to talk. We dare to, mm-hmm. to talk about, um, yeah, you know, feelings and emotions and situations that are here in our societies and in, in our everyday life. But we are the ones who who are like, okay, we're gonna talk about it. What's what's gonna happen? We're gonna talk about it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, cool. So my my other question is about um the like the environment. Okay, so do you write to your society, to your environment, or because you're writing for basically animation, do you feel do you do you think about like the biggest picture? You're like, you know. Tell me, tell me more about that. I, if I start to write literally, I bore myself. Mm. Do you know, if, I, if I'm trying to, if I'm stuck in a time or I get really angry about politics and mm. I get very angry about politics. We all do, Maggie. We, we all do. do. <laughs> oh. But it's, um, but I can't, I can't deal with those f- specific mm. thoughts. I can't like put myself, I can't express that in in mm. my work it just doesn't work and i just i hate it if i do that so it always tends to be metaphorical but i guess that makes sense because it's i mean these are ancient these annoyances this news mm. wars and hypocrisy these are as old as humankind you don't mm. need to be literal about it to say something about it mm. yeah so i feel like I, I, of course i'm rooted in my time i'm mm. in, it, this is the context that i mm. exist in but mm. i I can't quite grapple with it literally. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Interesting. I couldn't help myself not to notice the the, the illustrations behind you. Are these oh, are, are are these your work? Well, I don't know if you can see you can't see my the turtles my daughters. It's okay. One of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> looks looks good. Looks nice. It's really good, yeah. isn't it? She did it when she was about 8. Yeah. Yeah, that um that's mine and cool. those scribbles are mine yeah and those scribbles are mine yeah it, my again. Cool, cool cool it looks nice it looks like an artist place <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah, I, yeah this is the first uh, house i i live in a house mm. in um, by the sea now and it's just delightful I, to have my own space cool Working yeah space. because as artists i think we need our own space right to be able to 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 focus and to get inspired sometimes we need our own space to leave messy yeah. for me in a mess <laughs> of course uh maggie a technical question do you do you do you use like or do you want to use in the future or have you used in your past projects um any specific technique do you do, do you want to keep on using or if you use this technique and now you want to change could you tell us more like technically about the execution of your scripts I, I used to do at art school, actually, we were taught to do um, free rights. I went mm. to a liberal arts art school in America and um, and I've never got away from that. So I'll do mm. that kind of every day. I do in my um, sketchbook and I'll draw, uh, illustrate it. Mm. So if, um, I know that's not an answer. It's not mm. technical, but um, I mean, editing, I'm very long winded. Mm. So I do a, a lot of just getting doing the whole thing and then editing and then and then just getting rid of, mm, mm. <laughs> of additional language and descriptors i love ad i love adjectives yeah and adverbs and that's yeah. horrendous. i'm trying not to do to, to do that so much cool but, but yeah i try and have an outline i try and have an idea of what what the yeah. whole thing is yeah, because I always I always receive messages from filmmakers and they're like, we don't know what to do. Are we going to start from the beginning, from the end? Are we going to I'm like, whatever. It doesn't matter where it, it doesn't matter. Just write. Just imagine, you know, it's we're artists. We're not supposed to, you know, 
get things you know we're just crazy right <laughs> right and isn't it great if you can surprise yourself yeah yeah and it changes you know yeah, the, yeah 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 it's like the idea starts here and then you know thinking about it something happens and then it ends elsewhere so yeah yeah like one thing will snowball and affect exactly. other things yeah Maggie do you want a, a word um to say I would I wouldn't say an advice because like advice is I, I don't like this word but like <laughs> like, <laughs> like if, if if you want to say a word to the people watching us you know on YouTube because this video is going to go on, on our YouTube channel we film festivals um what what would what what would it be um oh god I mean I've wasted a lot of years worrying about what other people think I know it's so mm. glib to say but it just don't there's no point. Nobody cares. Just be mm. yourself. Mm. Yeah. That's, I'm, trying, I'm still trying to do that. <laughs> I am still trying to do it. It's, it's hard, but you're 100%. I agree with you. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, it's nice meeting you, Maggie. It was yeah, hey, you too. How lovely. Cool, Thank you so much. Cool interview. And um, I hope you are able to be with us uh, in June in Paris. But it's okay. maybe next time, right? Yeah. 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 Totally. Cool. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Maggie. Have a great day. All right. You too. Bye. Bye.